her fair share of booze over the festive season, but I'm still very happy to see my favourite wine expert, Tom Canavan. Hi, Michelle. Happy New Year, Tom. Happy New Year to you. Tom, good to see you. Lovely to see you, Tom, as always. As always, I hope so. Well, listen, I've brought you some wines this week, but I'm sticking to your kind of detox theme mm -hmm. because we're going for very low alcohol wines this mm -hmm. week. A lot of people are trying to lose weight, get healthy, you know, just have a month of getting over Christmas and New Year, and they're looking for that with either cutting out wine or looking for alternatives to wine. So I'm going to suggest some, some wines which are lower in alcohol, which might just suit some people. Are we compromising the taste here, or are some of them okay? Well, you know, if I'm being absolutely honest, it's been a struggle to find de-alcoholised wines, Thank goodness you said wines. that, Tom. Thank goodness you said that. That's if, I was, if you were asking me to recommend a bottle for tonight, I probably wouldn't recommend any of the no-alcohol wines that are on the, on the shelves. But if you want something specifically with no alcohol or low alcohol, there's some pretty good products around. Okay, okay. where do we start? Okay, we're going to start with a wine made by the Torres Company of Spain, really good winemaking company. You'll know the Torres mm -hmm. wines, you might have tried other ones. And this is a brand new product called Naturio which is a, a, a drink made from the muscat grape. They make a wine and then they remove the alcohol from it. So in fact, it's only got half of 1% of alcohol in it. And um, that's, you drink about four bottles of this to get the same alcohol as in a glass of ordinary wine. And what kind of tasting notes are we looking well, for here? Well, on the nose, Muscat's a very fragrant grape. Mm. I mean, and I think there's lovely kind of floral, grapey kind of notes there, which are very good, very muscat notes. Then if you have a sip, because there's no alcohol, it's a little bit thinner than a normal wine. Mm. A bit more like grape juice, I think. Mm -hmm. I don't think Michelle mm. likes it. Mm. It's maybe not, for a wine lover, it's not a substitute. But if you want something that's got no alcohol, or virtually no alcohol, I think it's a pretty good attempt. Tom, how much would this non-alcoholic wine set me back? This one's £6 a bottle. Now, there's nowhere in Scotland's got it yet. It's brand new, but there's a couple of places online are selling it, and we'll put those onto our website. You see, Tom, that brings a bit of a glass, you know, take their glass eye thing and you would pay six pounds for a bottle that doesn't include alcohol. That's got no alcohol in it. No. Well, you know, it's a, it's a weird thing, but to make this wine, they've had to first of all make a wine, which they could then sell, but then put it through an extra process ah. to remove the alcohol. So it's actually quite expensive to make a non-alcoholic right, wine. Okay. we stay with white, but a different grape variety this time, Tom. Different grape and actually a different prospect, because this time we're jumping up to 11% alcohol, but that's still low. The average wine's probably got about 13 and a half percent or so. So you're still knocking back, you know, a quarter or a third of the alcohol of a normal bottle. This is a lovely Sauvignon Blanc from Spain. It's the Castillo de Andalus Sauvignon Blanc 2008. It's in odd bins at 499 and it's a normal normal wine but one with low alcohol. If you do look around you can find them. There's a big difference in the first wine. I mean, this tastes like, like wine, a, like a Sauvignon, yeah. It, it does, and you know it's got that lovely, fresh, citrusy kind of nose. Are going to have a taste? Do please have a taste and a smell of this. This one, this one, one. was eleven percent. Eleven percent alcohol. They're more reluctant to taste this one, Tom. Well, you Lots know, some lemon. It's it's lovely. I like it. Lemon and lime, real Sauvignon character. Taste the alcohol on that one. It's dry. Um, but again, you know, if you're drinking a bottle of this, there's a lot less alcohol yes. units in it than in a norm, but not a normal wine, but an average wine with 13 or 14 percent alcohol. Okay, let's cross the fence into Redland now. To finish with red. It's been a bit tougher to find reds with low alcohol, I must say. But there's a category of wines now that are coming in at about nine percent alcohol. Now below that, actually, the EU doesn't define it as wine. So if you make something much lower than this, they can't call it wine. That first one we drank is not a wine at all. No. It's, an, it's a de-alcoholised drink. So this is a red <laughs> wine at 9%, 9.5%. It's £5.99 in Marks and Spencers. It's called the Giordani Merlot. And it's a proper wine, except they've used a couple of techniques to keep that alcohol low and under control. So have a little sniff of this one. Nice kind of cherry, strawberry kind of fruit on the palate. I like that. I mean, it's a good mm. wine. Maybe a hint of sweetness there, but lovely soft fruit, quite mm. elegant, quite earthy, strawberry, plummy. Right. Really easy drinking, isn't, isn't it? it? <laughs> and it'd be really nice with something like um, with, with something like roast lamb with lots of fragrant herbs with it, because it's got quite a kind of light quality to it. Nice with a bit of tuna steak as well, I think. I mean, Tom, are these really popular, these wines? Are you, you know, are you, people that you're speaking to and whatnot are saying that these are on the increase? Are people really going for low alcohol? They are, actually. This category of these lower alcohol wines at around the 9%, they're coming from all over the place just now. If you look around the supermarket next time, you'll see ones with names like So Low and, you know, Something Light. And they're all coming in 
uh, around this 9% because people are looking to cut back on their units of alcohol. A woman should drink about two to three units a day maximum. But let's not go over what a woman's uh, units a man should about be. Three to four. Feel bad about myself. <laughs> well, listen, and the, the fact is that people don't really know what a unit is. It's not the same as a glass. But if you come down to these wines at around the kind of 9% level, you know that a couple of glasses of those is going to keep you within your limit. Well, when you've got these big 14.5% wines, that, I bought one last night, 14.5%. So when, when you see that, people are going to look Did more Did you drink a bottle wines. of 14.5% wine last night in a school night? No. Really? That's, that's, nice. that's, that's a nice. little, yes. <laughs> what about Jordan. calories? Because Michelle's going to drop her dress size. That's her pledge for the new year. Are these good in terms of getting your calorie count down? Well, they are, unfortunately, Michelle. That first one, which you didn't like very See, much. I just ran not drink, Tom. But 20, 20 calories in that glass as opposed to about 100 in an average glass. I'd rather drink a council juice than be having no wine. A nice glass of sparkling water. Oh, well, it's, you, you pay your money, you take your choice. But, but the products are there if people do want to try them. Tom, thank you very much. We're asking people what they want to change in the new year. What would be your one thing you would like to change in 2010? Well, you know, I think the same one that I say every year. I work from home, and I think the hours I work are crazy, and I should really give myself a bit more work-life balance. You or know. never bring low-alcohol wine into the hour <laughs> I'll studio. I'll try not to. Okay, thanks for that, Tom. Thank you so much. <laughs>